Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you are new here, this is the series where I document my weight loss journey, showing you guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the positives and the negatives of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey. Before we get into today's video, I would ask that you give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with your favorite girl, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into the April, May weight loss recap. Good morning. I'm not gonna start off saying what Carol Baskin says, says although I really, really want to. Anyways, um, thought I'd give you the weigh-in. <laughs> because yesterday I weighed 209.6, this morning I weighed 207. So I promised I would tell you guys how much I weigh. 209, that's the weight update, unfortunately, but yeah, that's what I weigh. So I really need to just get this under control and not buy ice cream. That's like part of my downfall. And yeah. It is Monday and I am doing my daily walk. I think I might go this way, cause why not? But yeah decided that be part of my exercise is to do these walks. Probably gonna go back, do some yoga, um, and maybe an ab exercise. And that will be like my workout this week. This is just go on some morning walks and finish out with some stretches and yoga. Well, finish out with abs and yoga, which are stretches. <laughs> Just on my morning walk. I didn't walk yesterday on Tuesday, but I'm walking today on Wednesday. Just woke up, put some sweats on and a jumper with a jacket and sunnies obviously. My hair was already up because I stopped with my hair up, tied up, don't worry. But yeah, just going for a walk. And probably be walking for an hour. That's what I typically like to do, which is about two miles. So yeah. people I thought I'd do my way in for <laughs> for Saturday is today the 11th of April okay today's the 11th of April hold on I can't see myself is this good yeah so my way in is 203.8 so I got down from you know last month's uh food but yeah 203.8 that is the way in today I will check in with you guys probably Monday might go on a walk today but I'm just gonna sit outside read this book that best friend let me borrow Mel <laughs> she's smiling um, and yeah just gonna sit out here because it's supposed to snow tomorrow Denver. I'm not looking forward to that, but you know, that's okay. I'm gonna get some sunshine today and focus on that. So that's the way in. That's what I'm doing today. I'll check in with you guys Monday. So tonight we had, say me, me, my roommate, we got Chick-fil-A 
and I got a cookie with it. Also this weekend I had ramen along with the pint of ice cream Sunday night. And Saturday, I think I also had Chick-fil-A. Yes, and then a pint of ice cream again. So I didn't eat the best, but you know what? Hey, we're celebrating things over here, which you guys will see soon. I promise. I mean, I might not talk about it, but you'll see it. Like you'll, you'll definitely see. You'll see it. Anyways, I'm going to finish editing this video on how I made my oatmeal. So it'll be in the cards up here for you to go check out. Okay, bye. Morning, beautiful people. Just on a walk. It's like seven in the morning. There's no one outside because no one's gonna wake up this early to go for a really cold walk in Denver. It's like 19 degrees outside, but I'm bundled as we can all see. So yeah, didn't do the walk yesterday, but you saw ate good over the weekend. And now, back to eating healthy. Alright, it's Friday. We're going to do this weigh-in. She's 202.8, guys. Hello, beautiful people. It is April 23rd. Um, haven't checked in with you guys for a week now to be honest I haven't worked out and I yeah I won't be doing a weigh-in this week because I felt really unwell at the beginning of this week and so I decided that I wouldn't work out and focus on eating and stuff like that like I wouldn't focus on eating healthy so I decided I would just take this week off so I'm actually going to check in with you guys sometime next week. Um, try to finish up the month strong. Uh, in terms of just either maintaining the weight that you last saw, which was I think 202 point something. And or just taking it easy. I'm trying not to put a lot of pressure on myself. Because this quarantine has been intense to say the least. And I have really exciting changes coming up, which hopefully, I mean, not hopefully, God's willing, you will see soon. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for some of these changes to happen and kind of just move forward. Also, I did my own hair. Um, not the best at hair. It was my first time doing it, but... It's going to last me a little bit, which is great, which is all I need. I just need something that's decent enough, you know? So yeah, this week is about rest and recovery. Next week, hopefully, we'll be a little bit more active. We shall see. I'm trying not to put pressure on myself. Hope you guys are staying safe. <laughs> beautiful people it is the last day of the month and i weigh 206 so i gained four pounds from the last weigh-in that i did earlier this month where i was like 202.6 but yeah ending the month at 206 which is fine um considering i didn't feel well last week and um wasn't really eating so i was like you know what I'm just going to eat what I want, which was ice cream and vegan mac and cheese and 
lots of chicken tenders and yeah basically a kid's diet which was really good I'm kind of just like this weight loss journey right now is an interesting time because I'm just kind of staying in the lower 200s right now. I mean, I've been in the lower 200s this entire time. Um, but I'm staying like between 200 to well, 210. So um, I'm not even going to try to make promises. I'm just going to see how the months go. We're going to see how this goes together. Um, instead of trying to be like, this is what I'm going to do. Because I keep making these promises and or like claims to change. But yeah, my weight, there's proof in the pudding. And the pudding never lies. So that is how I'm ending April. Um, I'm excited for May though because there's a lot of changes that are coming. You guys will see that. But yeah, this... Yeah, it, it makes sense, like, what's going on, like, with my weight and with everything that's going on in the world. Like, obviously, things are hard and they're difficult. So, I'm just trying to take one day at a time and be gentle with myself as much as possible. Yeah. So, I just went grocery shopping and I wanted to show real quickly what I got. Got these kettle chips sourdough bread um vegan mac and cheese i also got this carrot turmeric juice blend along with more green dragon sauce because it is so good it's like very citrusy it's really delicious i then got this shrimp fried rice oh it's spicy I didn't know that, but of that, I'm gonna have that with my vegan mac and cheese for lunch right now. I also bought more green juice, more quinoa burgers, eggs. I got um, some salad kits here, as you can see. Several of those. I also have the um, one of the apricot slaw ones. I got some goat cheese because I'm gonna put it on my sourdough with some honey. And I'm trying to see what else I got. I'm gonna have avocados. I have wine because you know necessity during these times. Um, oh, I got bread. Oops. I got I got bread. You can see it. I can't pull it out. It's gonna make everything fall. And then the piece of the resistance, the ultimate thing I got was Ben and Jerry's Netflix and chilled non-dairy frozen dessert. Guys, peanut butter with sweet and salty pretzel swirls and fudge brownies. It has everything I could ever want. So I'm very, very excited to have this later. But yeah, that is the grocery haul. Um, I'm gonna warm this up now with some you know, shrimp fried rice, spicy, and have some ice cream later. Currently out for a walk. Um, just started. Didn't think I was actually gonna go on a walk today, but here I am. Have my hair in a bun. Not looking great, <laughs> I will say. But I'm out on this walk. Getting in that sunshine. Hopefully you can hear me because it's really windy. I am halfway through. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am halfway through my walk. Um, I will say, just to be honest, over the weekend, the start of May, I had three pints of ice cream, including yesterday. I had one pint of ice cream. That was the one of the three. I had vegan mac and cheese, spicy um, Thai fried rice, and a lot of sourdough bread. What else did I have? 
I just ate like fully unhealthy and I'm pretty sure gained all the weight because my stomach is huge right now. So I have decided that I cannot buy ice cream any longer. Um, I need to, um, well, this is kind of hard to see. I need to stop buying ice cream, eat really healthy, and lose weight because weight update, I weighed myself the other day and I weigh like 209. Yeah, it's not great. So, that's the plan of action for the rest of May. Eat really, really healthy, lose all the weight. Not all the weight in one month, but you know what I mean. So, that is... Mm. I am back to eating my quinoa burgers with my salad. And yeah, this morning I did a walk. I worked out, I did abs, and I also did arms. But yeah, that's my check-in for the day. Um, just eating my salad along with the fried egg on top, or in the mix, actually. Hello, beautiful people. The weight update is that I weigh 207, which is very exciting. So I'm getting back into it. I am eating really healthy, working out at home. I forgot to showcase that this week, but I'm going to be better next week in documenting my progress. But yeah, that's the update, 207. Just made myself some dinner. I have two eggs, that salad, part of a salad kit in here, as well as a quinoa burger. And that is my dinner, and I'm probably going to finish it off later with some goat yogurt, strawberries, granola, and some honey as my dessert. Good afternoon, beautiful people. I'm currently having an almond raspberry croissant. It has raspberry filling along with a matcha latte. It's called the Grinch. It has matcha, pistachio, and oat milk. And it's the creamiest thing, creamiest matcha latte and the best matcha latte I've ever had. It's so good. But yeah, it's called the Grinch, and then I'm having it with this lovely croissant as my mid-afternoon snack. <laughs> breakfast this morning. I'm having oatmeal with some peanut butter, some desiccated coconuts, goji berries, wild blueberries, sunflower seeds, and chia seeds. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it. Oh, and honey. Honey as well. So that is my breakfast this morning. <laughs> It is currently 8.47. Last night I bought um, rollerblades, I'll show you. You can see right there. And I ate it last night going down a hill. I was going down really fast. And so I landed on my butt, which then in turn helped me bruise my tailbone. It doesn't really look bruised, but it's like very, very tender. So what I need to do is stick with like flat areas and not go downhill because I couldn't stop even though I was like trying with the back of the right foot. It just like wasn't working and I'm just like not used to rollerblading because I haven't rollerbladed in years. So 
that's gonna be like my workout going forward. I'm very, very excited um, for this summer to just like continue blading around parks and stuff with friends. And yeah, also like while maintaining social distancing and stuff like that, like um, I still need to get exercise, but I just wanna be outside instead of being inside all the time because it's beautiful outside. But yeah, and hopefully the porch gets sunny enough and I can put on some sunscreen and some shorts and a tank. I like went to Walmart yesterday, bought some shorts, I bought two shorts and two tanks, um, as well as a razor because I need to shave my legs. And I am going to sunbathe. I've never been one to be like, let's sunbathe all the time. But now, your girl is all about it. Answer to the great mystery that people are hoping will, will solve his life, will make sense of his life. Now fast forward to the very... So, I showed a little bit of my breakfast this morning and... Oh, let's see where we go. So I showed my breakfast this morning and I wanted to be a little bit honest because I want to finish the rest of this month really strong with losing weight and not gaining weight. So I weighed myself the other day. I gained weight, 209, which is fine. Um, but this past week I have had a lot of ice cream. I bought like three pints of ice cream, I think. Two or three pints of ice cream two three three pints of ice cream and i had the sour bright gummy worms i had about two packs of those hot cheetos and then on friday i ate nothing but takeout earlier in the week i had on wednesday i had chick-fil-a and i ate healthy like the rest of the time but oh and then i also had chips and salsa like a whole bag big bag of tortilla chips with some salsa so it wasn't like my healthiest healthiest moment but it happens and yeah i want to finish the rest of this month in a deficit and i want to go into june in a deficit and the rest of the year having a deficit because i can't continue looking in the mirror and not liking what i see and not liking the fact that like I'm still big I'm still fat I don't think I've ever really said that but yeah I had a hard look at myself the other day and I was just like I feel so much better when I'm losing the weight and I'm getting stronger and fitter and more muscle definition and like toning down instead of keeping this weight this is not what I want my weight loss journey to be because I feel like it's just been stagnant these past couple months with everything that's been going on and I can no longer use that as an excuse I need to just get on top of it and lose this weight because this is not it's not what I want for myself I wanted to lose 30 pounds another 30 pounds this year and I'm not on track for that and the year is almost it's like halfway through almost halfway through so I need to get my butt into gear and I need to do this and lose this weight because I don't feel good about this um continuing to stay at this weight that I am staying in like the 200 to 210 weight area I want to get back to 200 and I want to get past the 200s and go into the 190s and 180s like that's what I want so I just have to stop eating bad and eating out and just do it so yeah just out for a walk today it is the evening 
time and thought, you know, haven't been able to really go outside and walk in my neighborhood. So I thought today was the day. Also, my tailbone's doing so much better today, which is great. So, which is why I'm walking. And hopefully soon I'll be able to roll a blade only in flat areas. I'm having green beans and chicken for dinner. Discovered this the other day. It's just buy already made chicken and kind of tear it up just to get like the meat, take out the bone, and then mix it with some frozen green beans and you have a pretty quick meal. I'm trying to just make quick, tasty meals without having to do anything and this is a very cheap option. <laughs> it doesn't look that appetizing, but it tastes really great and I mean, it's chicken and it's vegetables. What more could you ask for? Having a parfait this morning with honey almond flax and goat yogurt, honey, as well as fresh strawberries and some water. Oh yeah, and celery juice, obviously. I feel like now all I show is my breakfast, but <laughs> I'm having oatmeal today with some peanut butter, goji berries, chia seeds, sunflowers, dried wild blueberries, coconut flakes, and honey. I believe that's all that's in there. Hopefully I got everything. But yeah, this is my breakfast this morning. And I finished my um, celery juice earlier. I ended May at 206.2 .2, as you guys saw. I also ended April at 206, so yeah, there was a lot of up and down in between that. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep this outro pretty short and sweet. It's just been hard, <laughs> to say the least. Like, it is such an understatement to say that me trying to lose weight is the easiest thing. It's truly not easy. And as well as, yeah, just with everything that's going on in the world, it is really challenging because I, for one, am an emotional eater. To deal with my emotions, to process my emotions, to process a lot of things, like I go to food a lot of the time and it can be easy to just overeat or, you know, not exercise that much. Granted, I did get injured. I feel like something always happens which prevents me from doing my normal workout regimen. This time it was getting rollerblades, going down a hill really fast and bruising my tailbone. So although I am at the tail end of my tailbone healing, which is really nice, it is still a little painful. So I'm still doing what I can to heal it so that I'm not further injuring it. I wanted to address one thing. I really, really encourage everyone to vote because with what happened with George Floyd, it didn't need to happen. What happened with Ahmaud Aubrey, with Breonna Taylor, like none of it. Then there's millions more people who are black who have lost their lives due to police brutality, systemic injustice, systemic racism. And I believe that voting can end this, can end this injustice. So I implore you all to vote, to use your voice, and to end systemic injustice, end systemic racism, end bu police brutality, and put better policies in place that can protect people who look like me and protect black lives because our lives do matter. Black lives do matter. We all know that all lives matter, but we want people to understand that black lives do matter and they do deserve to be lived and not survived. So I implore you, if you are an ally, if you are learning, if you are educating yourself, to also vote to end systemic racism, to end systemic injustice, to end police brutality, because black people are exhausted, we are tired, and it is just, we have had enough of this. We've been knowing that racism is wrong, we've been knowing that you know, treating people differently just because of the color of their skin is wrong. We are humans as well. We have feelings and we hurt just like other people hurt. 
And for people to not see black people as human beings is truly hateful. And it is, I have no words for it, truly. For people who can't see black people as human beings, I, I truly have no words. It is disgusting that people cannot treat people fairly just because of the color of our skin. I am black and I'm very proud to be black and I love being black, but I have had my share of hardships and difficulties. So I just really implore you to please vote so that we can end the brutality, the injustice and the racism because I am truly exhausted and tired, furious, upset heartbroken, sad. It's just a lot. It's a lot to go through. It's a lot to process. And I feel like we are at a shift in the world. I feel like there is a shift in the world where people are recognizing that everyone is human and everyone deserves to be treated fairly and equally and to not to not be brutalized. So that is what I ask of everyone to just vote. If you are able to vote, please educate yourself on who you're voting for, why you're voting for them, so you can make the best decision for our future, because it matters. Black lives do matter. If you um, are able to vote, I do implore you to vote. If you are not able to vote, please educate yourself. Please learn as much as you can to and know that, you know, your right to vote can help change the future for the better. So that is the April and May weight loss recap. I'm, you know, I know that I'm ending it on a pretty serious note, but it's important. I needed to say it, I wanted to say it, and it had to be said. So I know that we are all going through it and it is very, very hard, troubling and difficult times, but I know that there are better days to come and I'm looking forward to those better days. This is a difficult time to say the least and it definitely is an understatement, but we can persevere and we can get through this. Don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.